The Cookie Editor extension allows you to easily view and edit cookies for any website via a toolbar pop-up. The extension allows you to easily add, edit or remove desired cookies on any website. To demonstrate this, we're first going to install the extension. After adding the extension, we're then going to add it to our browser toolbar. To do this, we left click on the puzzle and then we select or left click on the pin icon. Now inside the browser toolbar, we see this icon here representing the cookie editor. It's easy to identify because it represents the same icon we see here inside the app screen. So we have two options. One is to left click, which launches the editor. The other is to right click, which allows us to select how the editor shall be launched, whether it's in a new tab, new window, or in a pop-up. So if we click open a new tab and then left click, you'll see it opens inside a new browser tab. If we change the settings to new window and left click, it opens inside a new window. And if we change this to pop-up and left click, it opens inside a pop-up from the drop down here. So there's three different options here how we wish to visually view or use this editor. So let's begin using the editor to show some of its capabilities. So to start, we need to visit a website. So let's go to Wikipedia. Now, when we visit Wikipedia and we left click, we can see all the cookies that have now been sent to our browser. So we can see that there's three cookies here and they give us rough kind of approximations of what these are based on their name. So we have GeoIP, and that basically says it's set a cookie that kind of grabs our geolocation, then defines that inside this cookie for them to remember. The next we have is last access, which again sounds like they're basically grabbing the details and then storing it in the cookie the last time we visited the website. So when we revisit in the future, that detail will be remembered as the last time that we visited. And here we can see this other one as last access global, which is probably quite similar. Um, but here you can see they're set across different domain names. So this is probably for all of Wikipedia, whilst this is for this specific URL. On top of this, we have the ability to see different websites on the cookies list. So when we go ahead and come away and left click, we can see that there's still only nothing here because it's all linked in with the cookies drop down here. So let's have a look. We can start by editing some of these cookies. So let's change the last access. So we can go ahead and change its name. We can go ahead and change its value. So we could actually go ahead and change this to, for example, to the 1st of February. Go ahead and save this and we can see that saved. Now we refresh the page. It now says the 1st of February here, but then it's set a new cookie for the 3rd of February here. So there's different options and different things being set. On top of this, not only can we edit the value and the name, we can also select different expiry times. So currently this is set to expire after the end of this session, which means when we basically leave the page or leave the session that this cookie expires, which we can actually make it expire on a specific date and a specific time. In the same way, when we look at some of these here, so let's look at one as an example. Um, this one here, last access, is currently set to expire on the 8th. If we make this session only, it means it'll expire when we leave. So you can actually make cookies last no longer than you want them to last, or you can extend the length of these or make them expire on specific times. You also have the ability here to select the HTTP only and the secure options as well. On top of this, not can we uh, only just edit these, but we can also delete these as well. So we can either select one at a time or we can select multiple and we simply select up the top here to clear. These have now been removed. If we refresh the page, the cookies are then reset. We also have the ability, if you notice, to import, to filter, but also to add a new option as well. So we can add specific cookie names onto this page if we wanted to. And this is very helpful when it comes to replicating certain functionalities on websites and the sort of cookie data that they're looking for. So for example, you may visit a website and you may want them to remember the login details. So you can add your own cookie to do this or extend the time of their cookie. For example, some websites might set a seven day cookie to remember that you're logged in and every seven days you need to make sure you're logging in. 
You could change the extension of this to be 28 days as an example to make it easier for you. Or if you're more security conscious, you could change this to 24 hours or session only. So it always kills or disrupts the cookie after you leave or after that session. So there's lots of different usages for this from editing, adding, and simply deleting cookies from your machine as we're using the browser and going through the different websites.